What's up legends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to master the frontside cutback. In this video I'll be breaking down everything there is to know about a cutback and I'll be including multiple camera angles plus a skate simulation for you guys to practice at home. Let's jump straight into it. First, you have to generate some speed. You don't need much with cutbacks, just one or two pumps will be enough. And remember to stay near the pocket because that's where the power of the wave comes from. There's a common saying in surfing, when fat, cut back. This is when there's no lip to hit and the only option you really have is to cut back into the foam. You don't want a fast, steep section like this one. Instead, you want to perform the cutback on the shoulder of the wave like this one or you can even perform the cutback on a closeout. Now you've got speed, you've identified the section, now it's time to do a shallow bottom turn out onto the shoulder. You'll only need a slight compression in the legs, then you want to extend and carry that speed through the turn. And to quickly talk about foot placement, because I get a lot of you in the comment sections always asking about it, most advanced and pro surfers will go on their toes and lift their heel up off the board. This is because you're unweighting as you drive out to the shoulder and then you're pushing hard on your back foot driving through the turn and have your back foot pressed up against the kicker. Once you've driven out to the shoulder, you'll want to compress into a set body position. The surfer, Kobe Clements, demonstrates the perfect technique. If you stand too tall during the turn, you're more likely to catch a rail. And just quickly guys, the legends over at Project Blank have hooked me up with a wetty. It's their 3-2 Eco Ultimate Steamer. It's honestly one of the comfiest wetsuits I've ever owned. It's super stretchy, like you don't feel restricted from any movement when you're paddling or doing turns. And it keeps you nice and warm. And the best part is that it's high quality and affordable. If any of you are interested in getting one, um, I'll have the links down in the description. Or you can visit projectblank.com. They're eco-friendly and super committed to saving our environment, so I'm so stoked to be supporting them. First you want to lean and engage that hillside rail, then turn your head down and around your shoulder. Another common saying is where you look is where you go. This is super important because your body is going to follow wherever you look. Now we're going to have a look at some of the arm positioning through the turn. The biggest discovery I had was to drop my leading arm beside my hip. Then you keep your trailing arm slightly above your head. If you don't drop that arm down, you're going to dig a rail or fall off. If you watch me here, I really exaggerate sticking that arm out so I can get that proper rotation. Now for the easy part is just link your back all the way to the whitewash. Right before you get to the foam, you're going to turn your head back and down the line and your body will follow. There's heaps of different variations. I like to kick my back foot and sometimes slide it. Then other times I'll see it walling up again, so I'll cut the turn short and start pumping down the line. You do lift and rotate your arms on your way back around, but I just focus on looking where to go and your body's automatically going to follow. Now I've taken you through the whole process of the cutback. It's really easy to overanalyze things when you're surfing, but I just keep it as simple as possible. Number one is not dropping your arm below your hip. The second one is standing too tall through the turn. You want to get low and compressed. The last one is not driving all the way back to the foam. Do it like this instead. You'll need a surfscape for this one. This is going to fast track your progression as you're going to be able to repeat it over and over again. Also to make it feel as close to a wave as possible I'd recommend doing this on a hill or some sort of slope. Quick recap, generate a moderate amount of speed, eye off the shoulder of the wave, perform a shallow bottom turn, compress into set body position, Lean onto that hillside rail and look where you want to go. Keep your leading arm low and your trailing arm high. Now drive it all the way back to the foam. Rebound. And now you've just done your first cutback. And if you're really new to it, just practice leaning and looking. 
keep it really simple, just like this. Now it's time for you guys to get in the water and start practicing. Thanks so much for watching, Legends. I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.